Stonewall FC is mainly about being inclusive, a safe environment for people to play football, a place for people to be themselves. The name Stonewall came from the 1969 riots in New York, in Christopher Street, where there was a, a, uh, the Stonewall Inn, which was um, frequented by gay men and drag queens and people like that. And then it kept getting uh, raided by the police. And it was a regular occurrence until one day the patrons of this bar said, we're not having this anymore. That's where we got the name from. A lot of organisations took the same name as well. Cause it, 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 it was a mark in history where oppressed people actually stood up and said, we're not taking this anymore and fought back. We are more than just a football team. You know, we're, we're here to try and make a difference in the same way the charity have, but we're here to try and you know, make a difference off the pitch as well as on the pitch. And there's no point in putting proud to be more than just a football club you know, on our website and on our social media if we're not actually going to do something about it. Every time we walk out with the transfer colours on, it kind of shows our community how we are standing up for them as well, in football, but also off the pitch as well, just by wearing those colours. From midnight last night, we saw restrictions come into force, decimating amateur and recreational sport. Most non-league football, the women's game, from tier three downwards, all halted. Well, for me personally, it's been like a, a, a hammer blow from, you know, running around on a regular basis, playing football, seeing your friends and socialising, catching up with all sorts of things happening in the world, to suddenly nothing. And um, we do uh, talk to each other on WhatsApp and things like that. Thank, you know, thank God for social media in that respect, you know, that you can actually keep in touch and check up on people. There's nothing like playing on a, on a Saturday afternoon. And it's not just, um, it's not just football, it's off the pitch as well, you know, it's seeing your mates, it's, going down the pub afterwards, catching up. And it's, you know, this, this football club provides so much more than just football. You know, as I said, it's a safe space for everyone to play football, but it's a safe space off the pitch as well. Um, yeah, and we really miss it. There is a misconception that, um, you know, certainly in football, which seems to be the last sport which doesn't have any openly uh, gay or bisexual um, or non-straight footballers, you know, we're, here, we're still here in 2021 talking about that. Whereas every other sport, Gareth Thomas in rugby, Tom Daly in diving, um, you know, and plenty other of, you know, sports people who are out there who are, um, you know, championing diversity in their game. And here at fo in football, we're not. For me, when I was growing up and I wanted to play football, you can't be what you can't see. So there's if there aren't any, if there's not anybody who, out there who who looks like me or who who is like me, then it's going to be impossible to try and see yourself at, at that level or trying to do something. And that's that's what we're trying to change. Where I'd like to see the club in ten years is that um, the gay word at the beginning of Stonewall FC, a gay football club, it's no longer needed. We are just an inclusive club. We have the gay sort of origins. But in the future, you know, 10 years from now, we have more players joining us, uh, regardless of their sexuality. Um, and just m being more inclusive, it's, it's about continuing this inclusiveness of the club and going as far as, you know, we can go as a club. We're sitting under the lights of, of West Ham and we know that, every, you know, every club has its foundations. You know, the Hammers, the Gunners for Arsenal, you know, every club has its foundations and who knows you know in, in 10 years 20 years 30 40 100 200 years time you know maybe people will know Stonewall FC as you know the, the team that came from the LGBT community and that's our grass that's our roots